Jason's family, I want to thank you for coming and being strong advocates for this. Uh, I think it's real needed and appreciate you doing all the work for it. Um, like Jason and his family, I've had some, some experiences over the 20 years I've been involved with the VA uh, as a patient, uh, both good and bad. Uh, you know, but uh, this summer I was getting ready to go. Well, I'll start over. I'm a quad amputee. Uh, my amputations were through DIC, uh, and uh, so I have a lot of pain in, involved with those. Uh, so I've been on pain meds for 20 years. Uh, coming on to a trip that I was getting ready to go this summer, a 25 day trip with the DAV, I uh, went in to get my meds like I do every month. and. Uh, they said, we're not filling them for you this time. Uh, I had, when I get my pills, I pour the end into the next bottle the next month. And so on a pill count where they called me in and your analysis, uh, they uh, counted my pills, I had too many. So they said, well, since you're not taking them the way you're supposed to be taking them, we're gonna take them away from you. And it set me on a 25 day trip uh, with no meds. <clears throat> so I got back from that and uh, uh, they sent me to choice when the doctor just rewrote my meds anyway, so it was all for naught. Uh, but uh, I, I do wanted to say that I did try to go to the patient advocate on that one, and uh, uh, I'll just leave it that uh, uh, with the way the bill is uh, worded now, I think that it's going to be a lot better for patient advocates. It was like talking to the doctor when I went and talked to the patient advocate, so uh, I think with the the changes that we're getting ready to make with the uh, patient advocates so they're not going to be in the chain of command and stuff. I think that'll be good. 